Hey everyone, welcome back to eSigAdvance.com. My name is Cody, and today I'm going to be talking about something that's a little different. Uh, it's a new series that I'm going to be coming out with, and it has a, uh, a modern topic. You know, things have been getting tossed around lately with the end of the world and that kind of stuff. So we thought, what are we going to do? We can't, you know, we're not going to be able to get cardamizers. We, you know, you can't go to a gas station and get your little, you know, little cigarette guys. You know, what if, what happens here if this breaks? Not going to happen. What about juice? You know, what if you run out of juice? What are you going to do? So... What we thought about doing is we're going to call it the e-cig advanced vape apocalypse. I'm going to show you how to make juice with Walmart materials. We're going to use some tobaccos, some store-bought vegetable glycerin, and I'm going to show you how to make a device from things you can buy at Radio Shack. Um, it's going to be super easy. It's going to be a series of videos. I'll probably do one on just the juice one on the e-cig. Um, the last component I could really think of would be an atomizer, right? I'm going to show you how to make an atomizer out of a RCA head jacket, pretty much. Um, and, you know, it's going to be co some consecutive videos coming out. Um, it might be a different atmosphere. I'll probably be doing these away, you know, not here at the office. I'll be doing them probably at home with all my tools and stuff. But that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing, guys. So watch out. Stay tuned. I'll have some uh, DIY e-cig vape apocalypse videos coming out pretty soon. As always, vape on, guys.